Hands are lifted. I want you to wave your hands and mortar words of thanksgiving to the Lord. Wave your hands. The waving of your hands is an offering. Wave your hands and offer words of gratitude, words of thanksgiving to Him. Make sure you are thanking Him. Make sure words of thanksgiving, of gratitude is flowing from your mouth, from your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to, we are going to take our time to thank the Lord again. Amen. Listen, when we do these things, these are not, we are not, uh, when we do this again and again, we are not trying to obey routine. I think it was Bishop Oedipo who said, if you are not, you know, thanksgiving must not be assumed. You must give it. The Bible says, we shall enter his gates with thanksgiving. Again and again, you must be grateful for all that he has done. You have to be grateful for you to see the extent of his goodness and of his greatness. And that's the reason why we don't, it's not just a part of his service. It should be something that flows from our lives. So I want you to look back from January to this time. Many of you started this year as bachelors, as spinsters, and now you are complete. Many of you were carless at the beginning of this year. Now you have cars. Many of you, a lot of things that God has done, but even shifting beyond the material dimension to the spiritual dimension, thanking him for your acceleration spiritually. Some of you entered this year with battles, but thank God that you are a victor. Some of you entered this year struggling with certain things, but God has brought you out into a place of freedom. And the Bible says it is in his presence that there is liberty. So you have the liberty in the next five minutes to open your mouth and pour it out. Do it so much that your neighbor becomes envious of how much of the thanks that you are offering to him. In the next five minutes, can you lift your voice, whether you are hearing me online, by way of the internet, or you are here in this hall, and raise your voice and give him glory. Offer words of gratitude, thanksgiving and adoration to Him. Forget about what is around you. Thank Him for His faithfulness, for His goodness. How much He has preserved you. How much He has kept you. Thank Him for His goodness. For the Lord is good and His mercies endure it forever. Give him glory. Come on, come on. Somebody raise your voice. Thank him for the miracles. Thank him for signs and wonders. Thank him for his mighty hand displayed in every ramification of your life. Give him glory. Give him praise. So I'm here today because God kept me. Keep praying. Keep offering thanks. Forget about me. You just continue. I'm not singing a special number. Only because of His grace. He. Come on, don't stop. Don't stop. Bless Him. For all the battles, all the trials, the challenges, and he has made you a victor. He has made you more than a conqueror. Can you raise your voice? Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Give him thanks, even for the things he's yet to do. I'm alive today. Your grace, He kept me. God kept me. He kept me. So I will let go. Come 
Come on, come on, somebody. Give him glory. Give him praise. Are we grateful as a family of faith? Thank him for the availability of his presence. You don't understand. Every week is a blessing because of his presence in this place. Because of his power. Thank him for transformation. Come on, give him praise. Because too numerous are his deeds. Even if we have a thousand tongues, we cannot offer up for all that he has done. We are thanking him for the gift of life. We are thanking him for preserving us. We are thanking him for his purpose, his mandate upon us, upon our lives. We are thanking him for his love. We are thanking him for all the battles that he fought. We are thanking him even for the afflictions that you had to go through. For many indeed are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him from them all. And now and today we stand in gratitude to him. In all these things. Knowing that we are more than conquerors. Through him who loved us. Lord we thank you. We thank you. Forever we we'll sing your praise. Forever we we'll declare your goodness. Forever we we'll declare your faithfulness. We we'll declare your greatness. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea, the name of the Lord is to be glorified. Come on, somebody in the next 30 seconds, one more time, just lift your voice and bless him and thank him. Thank him one more time. Do it with joy that flows from your heart. Do it with grace that flows from your within. Blessed be your name. 
if it were not for the Lord who was on our side, our enemies would have swallowed us up. He said, Blessed be the Lord who has not given our soul to them for a prey. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised and adored. See, so we lift up holy hands in one accord. Come on. It's a simple song and we all know it. We sing blessed be the name. One more time. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Come on, lift your hands, lift your voice, and raise it up to Him who is ready to be praised. So we lift our holy hands in one. Declare it to him. Blessed. Oh. Lift your hands to him. We sing praises to your name. Oh Lord. Praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be great. We sing praises to your hands, eyes closed everywhere. We sing praises to your name. Just lift your hands. You don't have to sing. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name 
His grace and reign to be praised. Just lift your hands to Him. We sing praises to Your name. Just the same as. of the fact that when you begin to pour out thanksgiving to him his presence shows up every time you begin to be in the spirit of thanksgiving and praise you have qualified yourself to enter into his presence his presence is everywhere but he doesn't manifest everywhere he will manifest himself to those who learn to thank and praise him for who he is. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting. Now we can sing together. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Come on, lift your voice, open your mouth, and let's declare to him. Say we will praise him from everlasting, everlasting. To declare his praise, we will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Oh, you will praise him from everlasting, for he has done everlasting to everlasting. We will praise him from everlasting, everlasting. Come on.
we thank you for your presence, your ever-present presence with us. We thank you. Si ya prata la ha grendi la ha barosia. Lerebo con brasi la ha scapa brahande. Para ha briandos kahala brande. Lera bradis kahabrondis ke hebra haloche. Just raise your voice and pray, pray in other tongues. Saturate this place with your prayer. Let it rise, let it rise. Like an incense, lift your voice, lift your voice if you can. Build up your holy faith, your most holy faith. Ora haba sika baharun de heledia, merohombra has kaparo de helegiria. Ora mahabrendis, we declare open heavens over this place. We declare the dominion of the Spirit. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We decree and declare the activity of angels in this place. We decree and declare the dominion of the Spirit of God. We declare that the Lord would have His way tonight. Are you praying? Are you praying? Marahakora Shida Brahatele. Come on, raise your voice and pray. Raise your voice. And let this place be stirred up. Let the atmosphere be stirred up. As you pray, energy is supplied by the Spirit of God. Baratokava Ilia, Barate Ilasu. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your presence. We decree and declare that this ground is holy ground. We declare that the portals of heaven are opened over this place. We declare the activity of ministering spirits and angels in this place. We decree and declare that your kingdom come in this place. That it be here on earth that is as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the things you will do tonight. We thank you for possibilities, impartations, realities that will be activated tonight. We thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. And amen. Can we give God a clap offering? I said a clap offering. Please, you may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. No, I said praise the name of Jehovah. <laughs> you know, sometimes we get too used to these things. We think they are normal things we say in church. The Bible says, let the whole earth praise him. So when we say praise the Lord, let everything in you resound with that hallelujah. Because it says, let everything that has breath. Are we together? Do you have breath in you? Are you alive? Were you created in the image of God? Were you called according to his purpose? 
were you elected by his grace is it because of him that you are alive and here today now praise the name of the lord amen you know the devil doesn't like a man or a woman who is given to praise and worship and thanksgiving i tell you the reason is because praise worship and thanksgiving cultivates the presence of god and it makes it your natural habitat i'm telling you as long as it's not just something you do when you come to church if it is your normal life you will always live within the circumference of his presence whether or not you are in the midst of challenges are we together so we must be conscious you must make it your lifestyle make it your culture every moment you can remember every time you are conscious to lift your voice and be grateful to him and make sure there is a culture of praise and worship around you amen and i trust god to help us tonight in jesus name once again i apologize for the power outage um i'm working on it by the grace of god i'm sure we'll have the lights uh, but we thank god that we have the sound amen you know this is wisdom if we had one generator powering everything the service would have been interrupted amen and um, i also apologize again because uh, for a few sundays now we've been having power issues and by the grace of god before next year we are going to get a bigger generator i know you didn't hear what i said that's why you said the amen like that i said before next year we are going to get a bigger generator amen we'll get something that can power everything something very big because when we move into our new structure uh, we are going to get cooling devices maybe there will be ACs I don't know so we need something big that can power everything how many of you believe that yeah so next year will be better than this year in Jesus name I know some people are not saying amen because they feel we'll ask them to sow <laughs> you know anytime they are talking about projects in church people become conscious of their pockets if you're always conscious about your pocket it means god is not your source did you hear what i just said if you're always conscious about your pocket if you think anytime there is a need how do i it means you have not been brought to the consciousness that god is your source there was famine in samaria for three months and the prophet said by this time tomorrow and it happened overnight i don't know about you but that's the god i serve is the god of all possibilities and we've seen him again and again move in strange and marvelous ways uh, so i declare to you that by next year we'll have a bigger generator Amen. and maybe more fans to be able to keep the place comfortable for us amen and amen and i also would like to encourage us with this you know I'll use every opportunity to try to pass a message across to us and to teach us certain things uh, so that we can become victorious in life and, and more than conquerors. Um, in the midst of challenges, just like now, every time you are surrounded with challenges, one of the first things you must do is not to allow what you see or what you feel around you to weigh you down don't allow the things that surround you or the challenges or the situations around you to determine your reaction amen you must learn to be still you must learn to be stable the bible says in psalms 27 verse 3 verse 4 is it 3 or 4 now he said though war rise against him or though war rise against me he says yet in this i will be confident isn't it he says be still and know that i am the lord so just using this scenario to be able to teach us something for those who are listening every time you are surrounded with challenges don't allow the situations determine your reaction remain calm it is in your calmness that the spirit of god will speak wisdom that takes you out of it the bible says surely he shall deliver thee surely are we together so every time there are challenges and hitches around like the power issue we are having now you don't get moved by it you don't get tensed up try to just relax relax and be conscious of the fact that even in the midst of that challenge god is there i tell you the truth there is no human factor or natural situation that can limit the move of god 
the only thing that limits the move of God is our doubt are we together there is no natural circumstance around you that limits the move of God or the presence of God he says even when you walk through the fire I'm there right but when you are in the fire you don't seem to see him but you must learn to be conscious you know because many of us God is is lifting us moving us from one level of grace and glory to the next and the thing that we are not conscious of or we've not been able to gain spiritual intelligence of is that for every time God lifts you there are greater battles to confront hello yeah every time God lifts you there are greater battles to comfort but you know because we are not conscious of this when God lifts us we just relax and then when the new set of challenges come you begin to fail and falter but the Lord will strengthen us so every time you are surrounded with challenges the first thing to do is be still be calm amen he says be still and know that I am be still and know that I am and we, we are a Bible believing people here now isn't it be still and know that I am the Lord. Be still and know. So you will only be conscious of that knowledge when you are still. The kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but in righteousness, peace, and then joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. So I'm just using this scenario to be able to teach. I may not be talking to everybody, but the person, there are a few of us who may be receiving this message. Every time you are surrounded with challenges, be calm. Don't be moved. In fact, the challenge is a sign that you are about to be lifted. Hello? Well, that's enough wisdom. Maybe you will need it next year, if not this year. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Because next year, well, there may be more challenges coming. But I can assure us of one thing. That in the midst of everything, we will be. And we will always remain more than conquerors. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pastor Moses, you're welcome. Good to see you. God bless you. Can we celebrate him? Thank you. So happy seeing you again. Amen. And um, Pastor Israel, thank you so much. Please honor him. Please come, sir. Hallelujah. Um, I wish he didn't come out to give a testimony. I wanted to surprise him today. Amen. I wanted to create an opportunity for him to come and greet us in the Holy Ghost. So that the fire he came with, he can release. Amen. Somebody say, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I will not do that. <laughs> Amen. Now, Pastor Israel is a dear friend and a brother. In fact, more than a friend, a brother. Amen. Uh, for those of us who may not know him, we started this work together from the scratch, from the foundation. I remember 6th of April 2018, right? You say you left 2019. It's not 2019. It's 2019 you left. Uh, no, it's not 2019. You traveled for Christmas 2019, uh, but that's not when you left. <laughs> Amen. So we started, you remember 6th April friday 2018 shagari locals when we had the first the very first service seven of us right and myself and you just seven in somebody's parlor i think sister blessings parlor you remember oh, he's almost forgetting <laughs> you remember right we were seven of us and we had an anointing service right and from just seven in a parlor look at what god has done amen now, I want to thank God for his life. Um, we've labored together. He's someone I respect, I trust, especially um, when it comes to the discipline of prayer. Um, we've been together for a long time, and it's so good that he's around again. And uh, just to give the details, he got married around May, right? Okay, June 19th. Oh, you remind, remind me this one now, June 19th. <laughs> Amen, you know. Um, don't worry, some of us will cross over soon. Amen. Why are you saying, mm, what do you want? I <laughs> Amen. You know, it's like the proportion of married people here. <laughs> Please celebrate him one more time. You're welcome. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.
thank you so much. It's so good to have every one of us here. Um, today is the last pneumatic service for the year. Are we excited about that? Okay, some said no. Some clapped. Amen. Well, I'm excited that it's the last service. Okay, first of all, I'm not excited that it's the last service because I get to miss every one of us till next year. Amen. But then, I'm excited. You know, I look forward to every Sunday. Amen. Coming and having the opportunity to share the word with us and to be a blessing. Uh, you know, so it means that the next few Sundays I'm going to be jobless. Amen. Somebody say rest. I'll rest. <laughs> you see, let me tell you, the thing about ministry is eh, the greatest rest in ministry is in ministry. You understand what I'm saying? The greatest rest, if you keep me down for one week, no preaching, something begins to scratch me. Amen. So we must do the work of him who has sent us while it is day. But I'm also excited that today is the last service because God has saved the very best for last. I don't just believe it, I know it. Amen. No, you don't, don't worry. We are laughing and clapping now. By the time the service is over, you would confirm. Tonight is going to be a very awesome night because I know God is going to bring about a colliding of seasons for us there is a grace in this place tonight for you to receive whatever it is that is a desire do we believe that when jesus performed the miracle at cana of the water being turned to wine um, the man who tasted the wine he told the the groom he said other people serve the best wine at the beginning of the feast he said, but you have saved the best for last. Amen. So I'm saying this so that our hearts can be open so that we can be conscious. Don't worry. Don't worry about that, please. So that we are not distracted. So that we can be conscious about what God is going to do. There's going to be an activity of the Spirit here. We are going to receive a lot. But I want to do a teaching on Thanksgiving that the Lord dropped on my heart this morning. And then after the teaching, we are going to take a praise session for 10 minutes and dance. Amen? Because that thing you did was not praise. Oh. That was not the bargain. Amen? So, Alpha, you are ready, ba? Uh -huh. You know, during Night of Wonders, when he was saying, spread your hands, some of you, you were just standing like that. Amen? So we are going to praise our way. It's a prophetic action. I've been in the last service as we praise every wall that has been standing over your life that seems impregnable will fall down. And your praise will tear open the heavens to receive a bountiful reward from God. And then it's also a prophetic action that as we praise, we are going to enter into next year with joy, overflow. And that joy will never cease in our lives. From January up till December next year. So, no, do the praise. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit said we'll praise for 12 minutes. Each minute represents each month in 2022. Amen. You know, I, <laughs> don't worry, we are still in the spirit. Each minute. So if you waste four minutes, you don't dance, you don't clap, you just stand. It means, what are you saying about four months? And if you want to see God blow your mind in January, the very first minute, in fact, you don't have to wait for them to start singing. You just start dancing anyhow. Was that a shout I heard? <laughs> Come on, somebody give God a big shout of praise. Hallelujah.
I dare you to make some Holy Ghost crazy praise noise here. Come on, somebody. Woo! Glory to God. Please take your seat. Amen. You know, we are just rehearsing now. Amen. I saw that the people at the back don't like uh, jumping, praising. We have comfortable. Those of us in front, intimidate them, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So let, let's let's be calm a little so we can teach. <laughs> and then, but make sure you keep the mode on because when we do when we are done with the teaching, we are going to praise God for 12 minutes. I tell you it's prophetic. Amen. As we praise, a lot of things will happen. In fact, there, there will even be impartations during the praise. Are we together? Some of you, this dance you're about to dance is a million naira dance. And as you dance, listen. As you dance, God is changing your status to a millionaire status. Yes, yes, yes. Let's believe it. Everything happening tonight is prophetic. I'm not wasting your time. We are moving as the Spirit is moving us. Amen. So let's just make sure we are set for tonight. And trust God to glorify his name in Jesus' name. Amen. In the spirit of thanksgiving. That's the teaching or the message for tonight. Briefly, let's just look at the word. How many of us love the word of God? Truly, sincerely, you love. Not that, not that when they start preaching in church, you sleep. Huh? You know those kind of people? The best sleep they get is when someone is going on. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. We must love the word of God. Our only comfort and consolation is the word. The Bible calls it the most sure word of prophecy. Every time the word is spoken, it creates an atmosphere for God to do exactly what it says. Amen? Ezekiel communicating in chapter 2 of Ezekiel, verse 2. He said, And the spirit entered into me and set me on my feet when he spoke to me there is an impartation that comes when the word of god is declared and then the word of god also comes to give us understanding and wisdom the word of god comes to inform us make us conscious with deliberate knowledge about the dealings of god about the ways of god so that we are not just spontaneous christians but we are intelligent christians that we understand the ways of the kingdom and we know how to bring god on the earth amen and amen in the spirit of thanksgiving psalms 92 verse 1 and 2 i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever i will sing of the mercies of the lord with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness. Even all the song can we lift our voice and declare it? I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. You are good and your mercy is forever. I am. 
We sing it two more times. Say you are good and your mercy is forever. Hey, say you are and your mercy is Before I came, I was speaking with our Father in the Lord, Apostle Jonathan Shokonya. By the way, he sends his greetings to us. And after a long conversation, he said something profound. He said, what you see around you indicates the grace that is at work in your life. And what is responsible for that level of grace is the amount of the mysteries of God that you have, that you know. He said, but when you see results around you that are beyond you, it's called mercy. If the mic should go around, many of us don't even understand the word mystery, first of all. So when we talk about the mysteries of God, the mysteries, the knowledge the revelation of God that make for certain advantages in your life. If I pass the mic round, many of us will be void of so much. Some of us really don't know the provision in scripture for protection and security. But you have been kept from January till now. What do you call that? Mercy. So when we see results that are beyond our doings, our dealings, is attributed to the mercy of God. And I don't know about you, but I think that the result in my life is more than my prayers. It's more than my fasting. It's more than my knowledge of scripture. How much do I know? But I've seen God intervene. Even when he should not. Even when we mess up. He still comes and covers up for us. No man can do that. That's the reason why I sang that song. For you are good and your mercy is forever. For you inside and those outside, make sure you participate. Let's do it one more time with gratitude in our hearts for you. mercies of God are his bias system. The mercies of God is his bailout system. Can I tell you something? One of my greatest secrets as a man of God, especially every time I'm going for a program, after all the prayer and studying and fasting, the last prayer I pray before I leave my house is, Lord, show me mercy. That's the last thing I say. Before I go to minister, before I do anything. Because I get conscious of the fact that really, it's not really about those things I do. There are people who are probably more anointed than us. There are people that are more beautiful than you, that are, that are richer than you, that should be alive, but God spared you. There are people who took flight and the plane crashed. You didn't have money to take flight, you went by road. And God preserved you from armed robbery, preserved you from Boko Haram, preserved you from accident. When you see these signs around you, 
it is a testimony and a witness of his goodness and his mercy hallelujah and lord we are grateful tonight we are grateful we are grateful in the name of jesus psalms 92 please be seated let's journey quickly psalms 92 from verse 1 he said it is a good thing it is a good thing to give thanks to the lord and to sing praises to your name O most high next verse please to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night let's start from verse 1 the bible says it is a good thing now the scripture is filled with um, commands instructions here and there things that we must do for instance the bible says honor your father and your mother you know that's a command the bible says let this book of the lord not depart from your mouth but meditate on it day and night that you will observe to do according as it's written and then you shall make your way prosperous and have good success when you see those kind of scriptures you know that they are instructions or they are commands but then the scripture also contains what i call advice or divine counsel there are some other scriptures that are not commands they are counsel it's like an advice the writer is is probably writing from experience or is writing from a wealth of knowledge inspired by the holy spirit and then he gives a counsel an advice in other words if it's, it's for your good if you follow this and one of such is what we see in this scripture it says it is a good thing to give thanks in other words he didn't say you must thank god but just so that you will know it is a good thing before god thanksgiving is good bishop oedipo says don't assume thanksgiving give it that's why it's called thanksgiving you don't assume it you don't wish it it's not like prayer that you pray and say hey, god is in my mind he will hear me you know when the church folks now when they say pray they will not open their mouth to pray they just keep quiet and say ah, god hears me man you can do that with prayer but when it comes to thanksgiving you you must give it it must come out of you and i don't know about you but your gift will always be judged by the proportion the propensity and the volume in which it is given the bible says it is a good thing so we are advised by the psalmist a man that lived in the presence of god a man that tapped into god so strong a man that tapped into prophet prophecies years ahead of his generation a man that the bible calls a man after my heart god speaking a man that walked with god the only king in scripture that mirrored the throne of god is writing and he says this that it is a good thing to give thanks and to sing praises to your name almost high. so praise and thanksgiving is not just a good thing alone before god but it is valuable in his sight it tells me that God is conscious about a praiser. God is conscious about a man that it lives in continuous gratitude. You know, we must, we must learn to grow out of this, our big manism. Sorry to use that word. But we must learn to grow out of our comfort zone when it comes to these things. That before the sight of God, it is good to give him thanks. And to sing praises to his name. To declare his loving kindness in the morning and his faithfulness at night in other words from morning till night thanksgiving should flow out of you as soon as you become conscious at least in every hour be, be learn to be able to give god at least five minutes of thanks i said it before i think last year to us that i was told about bishop david oyedepo that the first thing he says when he wakes up in the morning is thank you jesus and i don't know about you but i want to make that the last thing i say before i sleep thank you 
let it flow let it become you do it consciously until you it becomes unconsciously driven into your being to always give him thanks and the thing about thanksgiving is you don't need to see anything around you to thank god for you just have to cultivate or accept that spirit of thanksgiving and then it begins to flow that's why the teaching tonight is in the spirit of thanksgiving the moment the character or the attitude of thanksgiving engulfs you you become conscious about what god has done just the way doubt and worries make you conscious of the situations around you and all of a sudden you do not see that god can come through for you and god becomes limited the bible says when peter was walking on the water to jesus what happened to him he, as he looked and saw the waves around scripture said he began to sink so just the way doubts and worries create an atmosphere around you that blocks you from seeing the possibilities that god can make to come true for you in that situation that's the same way the spirit of thanksgiving makes you conscious about the things he has done knowing fully well that if he did it yesterday he would do it today that if he defended me yesterday he will still defend me today the bible says jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever scripture said it is a good thing to give thanks sorry i may have to use my light because this place is dark and i can't see my notes it is a good thing psalms 147 verse 1 another powerful scripture on thanksgiving on praise rather I just need one sentence from that scripture he says praise the lord for it is good to sing praises to our god for it is pleasant and praise is what beautiful now look at look at look at uh, um are they adjectives i will use that are outpl that outlined in this scripture first of all the bible says it is good to sing praise then the bible says it is pleasant and it is beautiful so three things we see there and these are god's recommendation he says praise is number one good let your light so shine before men that they may see your what good works praise is one of your good works that means if you are a praiser men will see your life and then that spirit of the praise of praise and thanksgiving enters into them and the bible says they will glorify is glorifying god not an aspect of praise it is that means thanksgiving is contagious just the way grumbling and complaining is contagious you just allow a couple to wake up in the morning and one person is complaining and grumbling before you know if the other person is not careful it jumps to the other person the same way thanksgiving is so imagine a family where everybody lives in the spirit of thanksgiving imagine a church where everybody even to the smallest child did jesus not prophesy in scripture that out of the mouth of babes and sucklings in psalms he says thou hast ordained strength in matthew he says thou hast perfected praise that tells me that when praises go up strength praise is the secret to strength and victory that's what it means because when praise is perfected the bible says strength is ordained it is good so praise is good praise is pleasant and god still says that praise is what beautiful i don't know about you but if you ever have anything that is beautiful in your house you want to always behold it so much so that giving it out becomes a problem even when god instructs that's when you got call god to a council meeting how many of us do that sometimes you know that some instructions god will give you and then you have to call for a council meeting agm annual general meeting say god you can't this this one is not sit down let's talk for instance god come and say give your car say, haba, haba, haba. nobody you give us god sit down now let's talk so when you have something beautiful you want to always keep looking at it the bible says one of the greatest beauty before the sight of god is a praiser 
that means you will ever be before his presence god will do anything to keep looking at you because praise has made your life beautiful and if god has his eyes on you tell me what the devil can do if god be for us who can be against us god watches over you then there is nothing to be afraid of thanksgiving is the password to the presence of god i taught us last week one of the points i gave when i was teaching on how or what to do when you wait when you are in a season of waiting on god and one of the things i said was to live a life of praise and thanksgiving psalms 104 psalm 100 rather verse 4 he says enter into his gates with thanksgiving message translation says enter with the password thank you so the password into the presence of god is not prayer is thanksgiving did you hear what i said look at me look at me first i want that to sink into our head the password to the presence of god is not prayer first is thanksgiving you know, sometimes we get to ba 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 ba. It's good though. But if you want to access God, the key that opens that door is thanksgiving. The moment you begin to thank Him, you have opened the door. You have qualified yourself. You have admitted yourself into the place where God is. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Why did He use the word courts? A court is a place where a king. Or a dignitary reside is a place of judgment and justice is a place where a king sits down and decides and makes judgments and decrees and justice and you know that in god's court there is a fellow called satan the bible calls him the accuser of the brethren i hope you know he's always going there as job the bible says he stands before god accusing the brethren they and night now the protocol for standing in that court is praise in other words once you begin to praise god what you are doing is you are manipulating the judgment to your favor already you didn't hear what i said it's like i'm preaching to the wrong set of people where's pneumatic let me look for them or let me just preach to this let me preach to my brothers here because it, it seems we are not getting certain things when you begin to the bible says enter his court think of it when the judge of that court is your friend justice is already manipulated now the bible says enter his court with praise now remember the bible says where we just read in psalms 147 he said praise is beautiful and i just showed you how that god likes to behold a praiser so when you come into the courts of god satan may be there making accusations the moment you begin to lift up praise what you have done is you have turned the attention of the judge and the jury your way and at the same time you are manipulating justice to favor you that's why i told you last week that praise is the mystery that opens you to victory before the battle so after that praise you know that you have already won even before you fought any battle because when you praise you don't need to fight again you can pray and still need to praise but after praise there's no need to pray again i've not seen that in scripture thanksgiving is a powerful password you see the things in the kingdom that make for strength and mightiness are some of the basic things that we we neglect thanksgiving and praise write this down just a few points about thanksgiving and praise number one thanksgiving helps you to reckon on the extent of God's goodness and faithfulness thanksgiving helps you to reckon on the extent of God's goodness and faithfulness to reckon means to remember to reckon means to take stock to, to re, do a retrospective study go back and research that's what it means to reckon thanksgiving helps you to reckon on the extent in other words when you are thankful you will now realize how good and how faithful god has been 
the bible says bless the lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O my soul and forget not his benefit don't forget it reckon on it think about it rather than think about the problem that is around you rather than think about your rent that is expiring at the end of december rather than think about the things that you are yet to see manifest the bible says make yourself busy thinking about the things he has done because truly when you look back at the things he has done you will know that we sometimes some of the things he has done we are not even worth those things yes you don't have a car but he saved you from accident there are people who had who bought cars and they enjoy it i remember years ago some of us who know i think there was this gospel comedian also who used to sing i don't know many of us may know him is it chijoke or who or so something like that he used to sing anytime he does comedy he sings he just came god just lifted him you know that very year and within months i was told he had an accident and died and that's a destiny and a career cut short this thing about singing in comedy he was one who started it just within months that he began to but you are here and god has kept you god has preserved you and most times you sometimes if you think of these things you, you it will it will be as though god is not fair because the people who deserve more of his faithfulness and his goodness are not the ones that may have received it psalms 100 he tells us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise he said be thankful and bless his name he said for we are his people this is the reason just simply because we are his people and the sheep of his pasture thanksgiving helps you to reckon on the extent of god's goodness and faithfulness thanksgiving builds number two thanksgiving builds your convictions and strengthens your persuasions thanksgiving builds your convictions and strengthens your persuasions and strengthens your persuasions on the consistency of god's goodness i take that again thanksgiving builds your convictions and strengthens your persuasions on the consistency of god's goodness when you begin to thank him you begin to see how consistent not only is he good he's consistent in his goodness he's the same you know the bible says if we are unfaithful he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself he's consistent so it's not because of what you have done sometimes people come to me for prayers and then most often some of them maybe because of an understanding they come with a seed probably they are believing god and it's a very good thing to do it's a very powerful thing to do that's why it's called seed faith seed of faith that you are you are dropping that as a point of contact but then i also believe that you mustn't always sow a seed for god to do miracles for you i also believe that you must not always give for you to receive from god no god can just decide to be good and he has decided to be good to you i said he has decided to be good to you forget about what your neighbors are telling you and forget about what the people around you are saying god decides to be the bible says if god say yes no man can say no everybody may hate you if god likes you that's the end of the case you go for a job interview three people sit on the panel and three of them don't like you if god has said yes it's only a matter of time god can appear to one of them in a dream and say favor this man or take your picture and show the person in the night he sleeps wakes up sleeps wakes up it's just your picture and then god puts pressure that's what it means when god is consistent thanksgiving is what helps you build your conviction it strengthens your person in other words thanks even provokes faith in you to believe that god is consistent i like that song that says what you say you will do that is what you will do that is why you are called Jeff. let me speak to somebody here you know sometimes you may go through valleys challenges situations 
Meanwhile, God gave you a word. But because of the situations you are going through, it's almost too good to believe that word. I came to, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm speaking to somebody. Regardless of what you are going through now, and regardless of the fact that the word has not been fulfilled, what God said to you was not a lie. He will still do it. He will yet do it. He will yet do it. You know, the young man who gave testimony last, while he was giving the testimony, the Holy Spirit even reminded me again that there was a time, I think it was this year, early this year or so, I prayed with him. And the Spirit of God spoke and said to him that he's lifting him to a millionaire status. And I think God has done it from that testimony. It's just that I will not be too detailed on some things so that EFCC will not look for some people. Amen. You know, they look for you whether you are doing fraud or not. As far as you are just rich, mysteriously. It's Thanksgiving that builds your convictions to know that God is consistent. He will never change. God is not like the devil that will give you food and collect meat. God is not like the devil that will give you a child. Every time the devil, in fact, if the devil ever gives, don't collect. He's not a giver. You understand? He's not a giver. At this, at this is not part of my message, but I'm just saying it. I just say a lot of people look for solutions and they are pressured in their solution. You are looking for a child, you are looking for this and that, and then you begin to seek all manner. Now, you don't need to go to a native doctor to know that you are seeking the devil. Once you go to a place that God is not part of, and you get involved in things that God is not part of, you are seeking the devil. Because Balaam was a prophet, but he was serving the devil at that time. Hallelujah. The devil is not a giver. Every time the devil gives you wealth, does know he's coming back for it. There's nothing he can give. But the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from who? God. There's one song, I don't know whether you know it. Jesus, Jesus, that man of Galilee, you're always doing good. You're always doing good. Jesus, Jesus, that man of Galilee. You're always doing good. You're always doing good. I think we need to score that song. We must sing it one day. Huh? Tell your neighbor God is good. Number three. Praise this time reveals the greatness of our God. Praise reveals the greatness of our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will sing out. How great. Is our God. Let's sing it one more time. Lift your voice and say, How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All we see. Exodus 15 from verse 1. But listen to this while it's coming on on the screen. Jehoshaphat understood the formula. He called the singers, called the choir and put them in front of the army. And the Bible says they began to sing praise. What they were doing was they were magnifying God. You know, the word magnify is a word for praise. I think there's a place in Psalms that says, come let us magnify the Lord together. What, what does it mean to magnify? To magnify means to make something bigger. In other words, you are not increasing the size of that thing. You are only making it bigger to your view. 
God does not increase or decrease. It's just that when you are swallowed up in the midst of challenges, the God you know seems small. So praise becomes a weapon, a magnifying glass that increases the size of God until he outweighs the problem around you. That's what praise does. You magnify. It doesn't change. Just because you don't have money didn't change God. So, but the limitation is in your mind. That's the reason why you need something to magnify God. Your weapon, praise. Exodus 15, verse 1. 15, verse 1. Not 16. 15, verse 1. And so Jehoshaphat made them begin to praise. And the Bible says, they got so caught up in the praise, they even forgot they were going for war. When they got to the valley where they will fight, the Bible says they looked and they saw corpses everywhere. A lot of things happen when God is magnified. When God is magnified, you put pressure on his power to act. Even when he doesn't want to act, he will act. I remember when I traveled to Abuja recently, I went for a court wedding. And after the wedding, I was outside, you know, with a friend of mine. And while we were there, there are these people, these house are people who play instruments and sing. And then the man just went to them and he squeezed a bundle of, you know, cash put it on one of them and directed them to his wife my goodness the entire entourage of musicians they went towards her i even how sad i've never heard i was hearing it how they got to know her name i don't know they started using it to sing on the, the woman she became too shy and i looked at it i said this is what praise can do to a man think of what praise does to god there are blessings God didn't plan to give you. You praise him. He's, uh, uh, your, name will, you, your name will be removed from waiting list. You praise God what he planned for February. No, give him now. You know why? Because it's your praise that qualifies you to receive. You know the Bible says time and chance happen to them. Them, oh, them, them, not me. When you catch the weapon of praise, time and chance will always happen for you. Every time becomes the Kairos time. I'm teaching you secrets that will help you move the heart of God. That was the last time you woke up at midnight and praised Him and forgot about the fact that there was no money in your account. When was the last time you were trusting God for money to complete a contract? And you forgot about the contract and began to praise. We must learn to abandon our thoughts of problems. We must learn to abandon our mindfulness of the things around us. We must become conscious of the greatness of God. Look at this. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke and say, spoke saying, I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Go on. We are reading down to verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my son. All these ones are praise to God. Though. Put yourself in God's shoes and, re and think of it if somebody is saying these things to you. You just think of it if somebody is saying these things to you. He said, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will praise him. My father's God. I will exalt him. Go on. We are reading. Down to verse 7. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Please be very snappy. Pharaoh's chariots and his armies he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. Go on. The depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. He said, your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. When I, was, when, when I read these things, you know what I imagine? I imagine that as Moses is saying this thing, the right hand of God begins to move again. Because you want to know the only time God moves, the only time God moves is when praise is offered. For he inhabits the praise. To inhabit means to occupy. You don't stay in one place and occupy something elsewhere. For you to occupy, you must move. It's not prayer that moves God, no. It's praise that moves him. For the king of kings to stand up from his throne, and you know, every movement of God symbolizes something. When God stands up, it's something. 
if only his anger alone can destroy his anger he was just angry with some people the bible says somewhere in this exodus 15 he said at the blast of thy nostrils that means god just exhaled hmm. and enemies were destroyed think of it when god stands your right hand O lord has become glorious in power and your right hand O lord has dashed in pieces the enemy and in the greatness of your excellence you have overthrown those who rose against you you sent for you see what i mean when i say when you praise he fights it was against them but he said you have overthrown those who rose against you praise makes your enemies god's enemies i wish somebody's listening to me this night praise reveals the greatness of god praise magnifies god next point praise magnifies god in the midst of the situation Praise magnifies God in the midst of the situation. Number what now? Five or six? Let me just close with this. And this is something that God told me. Let me just close here. I had a lot to share, but let me close here. The Lord told me this today, and the Lord said, The life of praise and thanksgiving is the secret to consistent victories. I want you to think about that as we get ready to pray. The life of praise and thanksgiving is the secret to consistent victories. First of all, it is not normal to be victorious in this life it is not natural to be victorious for you to be victorious conquering every situation in this life it has to be by supernatural means now not only being victorious but being consistently victorious please look up here forget about the light just give me your attention forget about that praise and thanksgiving the life of praise and thanksgiving is a secret to consistent consistent in other words many of us this is what you what your what your life is you can be victorious today and tomorrow you fall into another trap many of us fought battles in january and were victorious in february you came under another attack you didn't survive it i'm telling you that what can guarantee consistent victories do you know the Bible says they shall come in one way but flee in seven ways? In other words, it means consistently you will defeat the enemy. Job chapter 5, it says he shall deliver you in six troubles and in the seventh no evil shall touch you. In other words, you will become so victorious and immune to situations. The secret to that is praise and thanksgiving. That means you don't only thank God when he has done something. You keep it as a lifestyle because when you keep it as a lifestyle, you are keeping your enemies at bay and you have entered into a consistently victorious mood. In the morning, at midnight, on Monday, on Sunday, at all times. If you are consistently victorious, it means you will see the result again and again and again and again. That's what it means. It's possible it is possible that's why the bible says yeah in all these things we are more than conquerors it takes a life of praise and thanksgiving consistent victories some of us are here still trusting god to bring deliverance in our families still trusting god to to take certain yokes away so you even enter this year with that as a prayer point you want to see consistent victory you have been praying too much can you try praising for once you went on the seven days prayer and fasting for that issue that's good but it, it seems it's not working can you convert it to a seven days of praise i guarantee you you will not reach the seventh day i guarantee you i guarantee you somewhere maybe on the second or the third day god has to just show up you know every time you praise is an emergency call to god every time you pray even and the worst is when there is no problem every time you begin to praise god is under tension why is he why is he why is he thanking me why this offering of praise why this incense of praise and then god realizes not even because of anything because of whom you are i give you glory 
because of whom you are I give you praise not because of anything you have done just because of whom you are because of whom you are I will leave sing it raise our voice as we declare to him because of who you are we give you glory say because you are discovers that you are not praising because of anything then God will look at your life okay what is not there he looks for what is missing and he completes it listen 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 to me listen listen every time you praise you know we praise with the name of God what you are doing is how do I put it all when you praise using the name of God, you are, you are, it's like a test to his integrity. Please pay attention here. It's like a test to his integrity. Because his name captures his integrity. His name captures his character. So every time you praise him, he comes in that dimension. If your praise is you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, if that's your praise, he comes as a mighty man. Then watch this. Listen, just listen, listen, listen to this. This is powerful. Listen. When he comes and he, he, he's looking for a battle around you, no battle. But he came, so he must do something. Then what he will do is what he will do is what is described in Zechariah chapter 2. He says, I will become a wall of fire round about them. So since you don't have any battle to fight, and I must keep myself busy around your life, I will build a fortification around you so you don't have to fight in 2022. You think it's not possible? It is. Listen. Study the fathers of faith. There are men in this country that I study. I study their life closely. I see all the ups and downs that come around them. But yet you see them consistently rising. After one scandal, they rise to the next. Apostle Suleiman said, after the, most of you knew, the scandal that came was in 2019 or when? That, whoop, that lady and all of that. He said, after that scandal, they experienced multiplication in church growth. They just had, I think he said they had churches in just about three other nations or six other nations outside of um, Nigeria. He said after that, it grew to 18 nations. You know why? The secret welcome of praise. 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 You forget about the situation and praising. Even when you come out of a very hard challenge and it seems God didn't come through for you, let your response still be praise. Let your response still be praised. I prayed for God to deliver me. He didn't. I still went for the operation. Can you still give him praise after that operation? The Bible says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. How many of us are ready to give God quality praise this night? In fact, you know what? I'm so, I'm so angry in my spirit because of this light issue, eh? I want you to dance and let the devil know the light didn't interrupt our service. Eh? In fact, just let him know that because we plan to buy the generator next year, but we'll buy it this year. I'm telling you, this year. This year. This year. You know, see, I uh, learn how to defeat the devil though. When he throws a shot at you, tell him, is that your best shot? I thought you had more. 
And one of the best ways to do it is every time he throws a, 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 an arrow at you, reply with praise. Reply with praise. Even if you fall down, the Bible says, even when the righteous fall seven times, they will rise again. As you rise, rise with praise from your inside. And see the Lord lift you from glory to glory. How many of us are excited and ready to give God some quality praise here? Yeah. Where is Alpha? Come, 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 quickly. Come, come. Huh? Amen. Stand up, stand up. Uh, this is what we'll do. I said 12 minutes, right? Now, this praise is a prophetic praise. That's why I called him. Just 12 minutes. I wish we could have the time so that we time ourselves. One minute for every month in 2022. Listen, as you can I share a testimony with us? I was watching Dr. Paul and Nature one time in their old auditorium. Please listen. Please listen here. Listen. In their old auditorium, I was watching one of their services. And during the offering, he was dancing. And I saw him dancing with his leg like this. I didn't understand what he meant. Just hold on. Meanwhile, in the congregation, there was a man who was crippled and one of his legs was twisted. After that dance, the man started walking. And according to, I watched it live on Dunamis TV. And I, the, in fact, the camera even showed it that as Papa was dancing and twisting that leg, the man's leg began to twist and adjust properly. So, watch your, listen, that's why I say it's prophetic. What your dancing is doing is your dancing is rearranging the year for you. You are shifting the protocol of the year. Taking favor and speed, adding it to January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Somebody give God a shout of praise. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Tell your neighbor, give me space. Give me space. Give me space. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tell your neighbor, give me space. Give me space. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen. Okay, okay. I, lo I love you, brother. I love you, brother. You're gonna, you, you need to show me the size of your God. Are you ready, somebody? Are you ready, somebody? Are you, listen, tell your neighbor, look at my shoes. Tell your neighbor, look at my shoes. Are you ready? Oh, to a teenager, you should. Protocols are suspended tonight. Uh, you can come to the front if you can. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you ready? You are God. Are you? you are not just. Are you there? You are not just. You are not great. Ah, say you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
to daddy. Let's go to daddy. Daddy, 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 are you ready? Daddy, do like this. Daddy, do like this. Daddy, do like this. Daddy, do like this. Daddy, move, 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 move. Hallelujah. Can you give the Lord a shout of praise? Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, listen, listen. Hallelujah. Never finish for my mouth.
Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen. here give me your attention here listen 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 just listen okay it's okay listen 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 okay uh -huh. the spirit of a prophet is subject Listen. <laughs> okay, listen, listen to this prophetic word. I want to prophesy. Listen. Are you ready to receive? But well, listen. You know, while we're dancing, I felt in my spirit that some people were not comfortable with the way we danced, went wild, act crazy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I know some people, listen, even the speakers are, are shouting. Listen, listen to me. For those people who felt that way, I'm sorry, okay? When David danced while the ark was coming. Hallelujah. Listen to what David told his wife. Listen. 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 Listen to this. We're about to pray. Listen. Just listen. No movement anywhere. Just listen. David told his wife when she mocked him. David said, Was it before you and not before God that I danced? The God who made me king above your father. If you really listen paraphrasing now but if you read it in other translations this is the meaning of what david said david said this time i dance you think i'm crazy next time i'll dance until i think i'm crazy and i want to prophesy to somebody that this will be the least kind of joy that you will have get ready to see greater greater explosions of joy of grace, of power, of glory, all through 2022. In the name of Jesus. Please lift your hands, strings, please lift your hands. While we're praising, while we're praising, just lift your hands. Oh, I feel the anointing, I feel it strong now. I feel it strong. Please lift your hands. Lift. I feel the anointing strong. I feel it strong. While we're praising, I saw chains being loosed in the spirit. No, no, don't worry. Don't say amen this time. Just lift your hands. It's a holy moment. It looks like there are some deliverances that God didn't do or God didn't complete at night of wonders. But I'm stretching my right hand right now. And in the name of Jesus, if there be any family or individual here represented that has been under any form of bondage, as you shout the name Jesus, those chains that I saw, 
are going to lose and the bondage is being broken in the name of Jesus I want you to shout Jesus at the count of three one two three shout Jesus King, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne. Mountains bow and the ocean roar. You are seated on the throne. atmosphere there are healings taking place now I'm telling you just lift your hands be still everywhere just be still there are healings happening now I saw this when I came in in the service that God was going to do a lot of healings I don't know why I thought we had a miracle all night service but there are healings happening now just lift your hands every disease every affliction comes under the pressure that is in the power of the Holy Ghost. We command the spirit of infirmity to leave. Healings are taking place now. Healings are taking place now. Operations are being cancelled now. I said operations intended are being cancelled now. Healings are happening now. Just lift your hands. Strings, please.
Let's sing it one more time. and declaration over us as we close tonight and I want you to agree with me and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that because of this praise that you have offered because of this dance that you have done in the presence of God I decree and declare that everything that looks like a challenge or a setback that has followed your life up to this point is buried in the year 2021. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that you are crossing over into 2022 triumphantly and gloriously in the name of Jesus. I speak to the four winds of the earth, the north, the south, the east, and the west, and wherever your helpers are. I muster them by an anointing and I command that from tomorrow they will begin to locate you. Help us are coming your way. Help us are coming your way. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let the earth praise him. Let the people praise him. And the earth will yield an increase. It says, out of them shall proceed the voice of thanksgiving and them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will glorify them and they shall not be small. I decree and declare, step into a season of multiplication. Step into a season of divine abundance. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, I should declare over you grace for acceleration. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he outrun the chariots of Ahab to Israel. Receive the grace that makes you accelerate. Step into supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. And I decree and declare upon you a fresh anointing. A fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. Receive it now. Receive it now. Fresh anointing. That's it. That's it. It's coming on some people. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Step into unusual grace. Step into unusual grace. Step into unusual grace. In the name of Jesus. And finally, I pray for your spiritual life. I decree and declare. Le paruska siba abranandi, baruska aparia da bahashka pana, aminta abrandus kopurundia babalanda kahadia, ilatoshka abunkra patakame na ho, ela fukra patalakaria. I declare on that is apostolic and prophetic grace. Any dimension of God that you have desired, that you have not been able to, by God, help them, help them, help them any dimension that you have not been able to enter into by this apostolic and prophetic grace step into it now 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 
some of you are receiving the grace for prayer and intercession unusual grace for prayer unusual grace for prayer i tell you at all times the strength to pray the strength to inter just help them the strength to pray the strength to intercede i rebuke sleepless dizziness. i rebuke sleep i rebuke deadliness step into that grace for prayer in the name of jesus as we round up the year 2021 every gift that has been dormant in your life you may have prayed you may have fasted you may have spent time with the lord you may have stayed in the secret place you may have done everything possible but under this atmosphere of open heavens let that gift come alive in your spirit let that gift come alive in your spirit and if it is a gift you have desired receive it now receive it now receive it now receive it now in the name of jesus father we thank you wave your hands and give the lord praise bless him for the night glory to your name glory to your name in jesus name all standing everywhere be still this will be the last altar call for this year all standing everywhere no moving out no movement all standing this will be the last out altar call there may be just one person in this place or probably following online that says apostle i need jesus probably you followed in the dance the praise everything that has happened but you know you are not connected you don't have a relationship with the lord let this be the moment let your coming back to the lord be in the presence and the congregation of his people i want to give you that opportunity many times we are too ashamed when it comes to decisions like this but salvation is a definite experience salvation is more than just coming out and making confessions salvation is when you receive the life of god salvation is the point where you transit to becoming a supernatural individual salvation is the point where god steps into your life and give your life a whole new meaning if you are here under the sound of my voice and you need to make the lord jesus your lord and personal savior or perhaps you used to be a believer but you were unserious with your spiritual life and then things began to fall apart and right now you just go to church but that connection has been lost maybe you once you were even a prayer warrior you once were committed but everything is lost now you don't feel the connection again and you want to return back to him while everybody stand i want you to lift up your right hand to the heavens and i will pray for you very quickly this is the last for this year get saved before you cross into 2022 the greatest assurance is in jesus you are here you want to say yes to jesus please lift your right hand as high as you can don't be ashamed i see some hands up god bless you god bless you god bless you if your hands are lifted up i want you to come to the front take your bible your bag and come to your front if your hands are lifted up god bless you those hands that were lifted please walk up to the front quickly god bless you god bless you god bless you please celebrate them as they come god is speaking to your heart right now and you must make amends with him let this be the atmosphere where you come back to him they are still coming they are still coming god bless you come and be reconciled to him again Withholding nothing, withholding. While I sing, if you know you need to still join them, please come. If you know you need to still join them, as I'm talking, your heart is pricking you. But probably you are afraid of your neighbor around you. As I sing, I want you to step forward boldly and join them. Withholding nothing, I surrender. I surrender. Just the symbols. 
everything everything if you know you need to still join them the Lord is giving you the opportunity please come come he's calling you say yes to Jesus keep right away and say yes to Jesus I surrender I surrender Everything I give, I give with holding, with holding. One more time, with holding nothing. stretch our hands before us to those at the front and just pray for them and commend them to the grace of the Lord ask the Lord to save them those of you in front I want you to talk to the Lord Jesus that's why you came talk to him you don't need to have a prayer written down for you to be able to speak tell him you are sorry ask him to forgive you And those of you in front, please put your right hand on your chest. Say this after me. Just say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe that you died and rose again for my justification. I receive eternal life. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for forgiving me. I declare tonight before your people that I am yours both now and forever in Jesus name keep your right hand on your chest close your eyes I want to pray for you father I pray that you seal them with your spirit I declare that their sins are forgiven I declare that they are born again in the name of Jesus Lord, we pray for them that they will grow from strength to strength. Holy Spirit, we commend them to your ministry and to the ministry of the world that you will build them up and give them an inheritance among those who are sanctified. We declare forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name and amen. God bless you. I want you to just turn right. There's a lady there who will attend to you. Our counselors will talk to you. God bless you. Celebrate God for them. Hallelujah. And if this is your first time in Newmarket, can we welcome you before we close? Just take your Bibles and your bags and make your way to the front. If you are coming to Newmarket for the first time, you are in this service for the first time. We love you. We celebrate you. Can we clap for them? They are coming. Just come to the front. We want to welcome you. God bless you. Is this how you clap? Is this how you celebrate God for them? Keep clapping. The more you clap, the faster you clap, the faster they will come. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. This is Sons of Glory of New Matagrada, a program put together by Sons of Glory Network International. Especially, I want to apologize to us. This is your first time and we had this kind of outage. It has never happened like this before, okay? But we know subsequent services will be fine. God bless you. In this place, we experience the wisdom, the presence, and the power of Jesus. If they are still coming, please direct them. This is a place where God is building us and God will transform you. I'd like you to join us every Sunday, 3 p.m. This is our last Sunday, but it will resume next year. And then you can follow us on social media and um, other contacts possible as you will be told to get um, notice of our programs and what we do in the name of Jesus. But I just want to pray for us and bless us. Is that okay? I want you to believe God that whatever desire you came with, God is going to meet it as I pray with you now in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless them in, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that they are victorious. I decree and declare that their desires and their prayers are converted to a testimony 
in the name of Jesus. I declare that they will keep rising from grace to grace, from glory to glory, in Jesus' name. And I declare that your life is preserved under the power that is in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please just turn right and follow the lady waving her hand. We have officers that will attend to you. Um, very well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Those of us at the aisle, can we do more for them? Let's celebrate them. Amen. Hallelujah. Now please just sit down for a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute and then we'll be done tonight. Sincerely, I apologize again for the power outage. Uh, I think it probably was beyond our sound and technical department. So I apologize to those of us in the hall. Um, thank you for your patience and your time. And those of us who have been following online, please can we celebrate God for all our online followers from different parts of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it has come to my notice that we had more, the number online at Night of Wonders were much more than the people that were on ground. And it's something to be grateful to God for. Amen. So we want to say thank you to every one of us online, whether you are following from your homes or your office or your business enterprise, wherever you are, you are even in traffic. God bless you all, some from Lagos, some from Port Harcourt, Kaduna and the rest. God bless you. And we also declare to you that joy and rejoicing will not depart from your tent and your dwelling in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, officially, after this service, we are closing for the year. Amen. Um, I'm grateful to God for all he has done in our midst. We have seen his hand tremendously. And I'm also grateful to God for our lives. I want to specifically appreciate every one of us. And then those of us who have been consistent, some from January. I was talking with one, one of our sisters yesterday. She said she came in January and she doesn't want to miss again. Some of us have to even leave workplaces, do a lot of sacrifice just to be here. May the Lord reward your sacrifices in Jesus' name. And I want you to also help me celebrate the workforce of SGNI. Thank you. All the departments, the protocol and security department, the ushering department, the welfare department, sound and technical, media department, spirituality. Amen. Prayer department. Is that all? Counseling. Strategic follow-up. Amen. God bless you all. Worship team. You were not clapping, and that's why. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, I know it's been very hectic all through the year, but I, we can see that our sacrifice has paid off. Amen. Apostle Joshua Selman will always say that lifting the name of Jesus is heavy. It costs a lot for the name of God to be glorified. And God has placed us in this city to see that that banner is continually lifted and that God's people will find a place of spiritual pilgrimage, of encounters, of meeting and experiencing the presence and the power of God. And I'm glad that God has found us. Amen. So we close today. I want us to enjoy the rest of the month and the rest of the year, especially the Yuletide and the celebration seasons. Please listen attentively, um, especially for the celebration seasons. I want us to celebrate uh, be joyful. Christmas is a good time to celebrate. But please be very conscious of your celebration. Um, don't eat too much and drink too much and forget yourself. Amen. And at the same time, let's also use that period to reach out to those in need. Amen. Reach out to those in need and trust God to keep providing for them. Amen and amen. Next year, we will resume hopefully in January, before the end of January. Um, yes now next year is going to be a strange and an amazing year at the same time next year we are beginning with seven the first seven Sundays of next year God has decided that it will be miracle services yes 
So from the first Sunday, we resume. Usually on our first Sunday, we come to declare the word for the year. Tell us the things the Lord is saying and what to expect. And then we come to pray and partner with prophecy and receive grace to break into the year. But I don't know, next year is very peculiar. God said we should have the first seven days, including the first Sunday. All will be miracle services. So I call them seven super Sundays. Amen? So... Um, if you see the hashtag online, make sure you follow. I'm thinking that we may even need to print t-shirts for that because it will be a very glorious moment. For those seven Sundays, we will come and feast in the glory, the presence, and the power of Jesus. And the theme for those seven Sundays are the days of His power. Amen. So, it's going to be... This is how you... This is how you... <laughs> Amen. With apologies to those of us online. So it's going to be powerful and prophetic. If we are beginning like that, it means next year is truly your year to receive. Next year is a year where God will wrought wonders in our midst and shift us to new dimensions. Next year you will see better and more preferred versions of yourself. In the name of Jesus. If you escape this year and you are still single next year you must marry in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy ghost it is done so i want us to get ready i employ us um i employ us please listen <laughs> outside and everywhere they are just i employ us to please follow our social media um we are on facebook follow us there and those of us that are on our whatsapp platform please always check these platforms on a daily basis we put up posts to help build your spiritual lives um, contents that will bless you and also notifications about our programs i trust the lord that next year we are going to be resuming at our permanent site yes amen now to that effect uh, listen to that effect we are beginning the project this month. By the grace of God, we have, I told us we have gotten one out of the four plots. And uh, we will continue paying for the remaining. But we have been asked to occupy. So please listen. Um, we have entered a phase for project now. There is no time where giving will stop in the house of God. From this December, we want to begin to set up the structure. We are trusting God to put up a small hall that can seat at least 700 people. Amen. I call it small because we'll outgrow it. Do you believe that? Now, this is what you'll do for me. Our project account is our UBA account for projects. Um, I don't know. Media thing. Please, media, if you can help me put it on screen. I want you to copy this account and it will be on our social media handle. Make sure that this season you trust the Lord to make a tangible contribution be part of what god is doing amen be part of god what god is doing so seeds um release your faith with us that by january we should have finished it's a temporary construction it's not a permanent thing we'll start like that and then probably after next year when we are done paying for the other lands we can now erect a permanent structure the permanent building the hall will be bigger than that okay so we just trust god to finish that between now and the middle of January next year. So we solicit your contributions and I trust the Lord to bless you as you do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I think that's all. Workers, our get together and appreciation service is tomorrow, 4 30 p.m. Right? Here. Yeah. Or the venue is unknown. Okay, the venue is X. Okay, the venue will be told to workers. <laughs> amen. So let's just come, wine and dine and celebrate. So the venue will be told you. I don't know whether it's here or somewhere else. Uh, but the venue will be told you. You'll see it on our, our platform. And if you're not on our platform and you're a worker, check your husband's uh, WhatsApp. Amen? And the people I'm talking to, they know themselves. In Jesus' name. One more time, I celebrate God for our pastors, ministers. Please celebrate God for them. Thank you. Pastor Moses, thank you so much. Please give him a big God bless you. Thank you. Amen. And I forgot to announce uh, 
Pastor Moses' wife recently gave birth to a baby girl. Amen. What's, what's the name again, sir? Majesty. Amen. So please, uh, you remember when Jesus was born? Wise men came with gifts. You know, there were two sets of people that came to Jesus. Shepherds and wise men. Shepherds just went and came back. Wise men went with gifts. Please, be a shepherd and a wise man. The shepherds went and called people. That's what they did. But the wise men brought gifts. So please, you can do well to visit him. After the service, you can even meet him to congratulate him. Visit him. Send a love offering and a gift. And um, you can also be a seed. You are believing God. Very beautiful baby girl I saw. Amen. And God will draw us good. We celebrate you, son, your wife. Pastor Israel too. God bless you. All the way from Macordy, he came. God bless you. Amen. And he's married to an anointed wife. I think the next time you are coming, we need to fly her with you. We need to fly her together with you. Amen. And I'm sure the next time she will come with a baby. <laughs> and is, it, is it word of knowledge or word from knowledge? It's word of knowledge. <laughs> Amen. I am I'm also aware that um, Pastor Dan too was blessed with a baby boy um, two weeks ago. And Sister Miana from the prayer department too gave birth and the very next day. A baby boy too. Amen. So you see, um, this is a house of fathers and mothers. So please rise up on your feet as we close. Now the very last blessing as we close. If you are single and you are trusting God to settle down, I release grace for you in 2022. In the name of Jesus. And may the Lord, and may the Lord bless the union with children. In Jesus' name. And finally, this very powerful prayer. Just in case you are the one that don't want to marry. We push you by prophecy. In the name of Jesus. If you are excited, wave your hands and give the Lord praise. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify your name. For thine is the kingdom, the power, forever. God bless you.